So tonight on my prayer walk, I've come out um, in the evening. I can see where I'm going, although I'm afraid you can't. It's been a hard day. It's been Maundy Thursday and for some reason that's made me painfully aware of the fact that we can't get together. I suppose thinking of the Last Supper and wondering if the disciples had any idea it would be the last time they met for a long while. And that's made me feel really grateful for all the times I usually take for granted when I'm together with family and friends. This evening we had a family Zoom get together, but I did find that particularly hard. There were uh, young people there and we were all being positive. But actually I felt really sorry that we, we can't meet up and I'm assuming that soon we'll hear that lockdown needs to last longer. It's lovely to walk at this time of night when there's nobody around and it's completely quiet and I do love the quiet. But today the not being with people has been quite painful. In particular, there's been a lot of news about nursing home staff with no PPE. And one of the young Methodists in the district who works in a nursing home, younger than my own daughter, has developed COVID-19 and is in hospital with pneumonia. And so tonight I pray for her and it's really brought home to me and pray for all the families who are sitting and waiting for news and can't go in to visit. And I pray that as the night falls and the darkness surrounds them, they'll know the light of your love standing out like these street lights are standing out in the darkness of the evening and they'll know that the darkness surrounds them and they'll feel themselves to be comforted as they wait in their own homes. So Lord we commit into your care this evening those people that we can't see at the moment those people we are concerned for, those people who are with us in our hearts and we pray that as each night comes we'll be able to give thanks to you for the day and trust you for tomorrow. So we say our own prayers and we pray the Lord's Prayer at the end of the day our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. As we remember Jesus who gave us those words, I'm reminded that our faith, my faith, the faith of a Christian tradition teaches us that nothing can separate us from God's love in Christ. And I think about um, 
I think about the cats that I've seen walking around the streets and the way they navigate themselves um, by a different light, the different sense. Pray, Lord, that in what's some of the most difficult times we've faced, you'll help us to find our way round um, according to your sight and your vision. For the darkness is not darkness to you. So God go with you as we approach the Holy Weekend, Good Friday. I pray that you'll know the presence of God with you. In Jesus' name, Amen.